Hey everybody, this is Joe with Joe's Premium Firewood, bringing another fun-filled, exciting video. Today's video, I'm going to be talking about the proper length to cut firewood and how big to split it. Because, as we all know, especially you, Pam, size matters. So, the criteria that I have on my firewood that I let my suppliers know or when I go out and, uh, and cut it myself, I try to cut everything 16 inches. And that's what I tell customers who call me, like, well, how, how long is your firewood? And I go, well, we try to cut everything, everything 16 inches, but we're not robots. So what I tell them to do, or ask them to do, is cut it 16 inches. But I will take up to 18 inches and down to 14 inches. In fact, I'll take down to even like 12 inches. When it goes over 18 inches, then I put it in my long cut firewood stuff. But uh, like I say, they do their best. As long as 80% of it's you know 14 to 18 inches i'm happy and if i get long ones i'll take it down there or i'll let the shorter ones go because i've never had anybody say it's too short to fit into my stove but i do get people that call me they'll call me like right now in the middle of january and say they want 12 inch long pieces and uh it split small it's like unless we can go out and find dry wood which i'll show you this at the end this load that they brought me last night it's real nice if we can't go out and find dry wood, I, I don't know how you get custom stuff. And sometimes I'll tell them, well, you probably should have called me two years ago and I could have went out and cut you know, some custom oak 12 inches long, brought it to you, you do the drying, and then it would be ready for you. But let me just go ahead and uh, let's check out the quality of, of the, this wood that I've been splitting over the last few weeks here in the bay number one. Let's check out the length. This one is uh, 15 and 3 quarters. This one's 14 and a half. 15 and a half, 15 and three quarters, 15 and three quarters, 15 and a half. Now this one's 17 and a half. This one's 16 on the nose. And then as far as splitting the wood, my, what I usually do is I'll take my fingers around the log or the block, the round, whatever you want to call it. If I, if I can't touch my middle fingers and thumbs together, then I, then I at least split it in half. But if I, if I can uh, touch my fingers, then it just goes in here as limb wood, unsplit. So let's check out some of these. Now, I, I, like, to, I like to split, have everything split four to six inches. If it, and uh, so, you know, if it was a four inch diameter piece, I guess uh, it, it wouldn't get split, but, um, so right, right here, this is like eight inches across, but then it's only three and a half this way, or about, let's just call it three. So eight plus three is 11. You divide that by two, which is uh, five and a half. So that's in the range. Occasionally there will be bigger ones that get through that I call my all nighters that might be eight inches split, but it all, it all basically depends on the needs of the customer. Um, like I say, I, I, I do split it uh, on the smaller side. It, and in fact, when I'm using the four-way, I can't, I can't control some of these smaller ones, but I, I'll let them go through. I like to have a nice mix go through, but generally the size that I want them are like four to six inches because most of my customers are caveman TV watchers. They're not heating with their house. I had a guy come in a, a few weeks ago, but he was all out and he couldn't find any that was dry. And he, he was complaining about this, that it was too small, but a lot of it was black locust, and, and that goes a long way. That heats for a long time. So, like I say, it's like take it or leave it. I, I will uh, um, do custom orders for people, but I try to get them to order ahead because I don't, I'm not going to store all different sizes. Some people want it longer, you know. So I, I do I, – I just try to concentrate on 16 inches and uh, <laughs> basically – make them nice and straight and you can see you can see how perfect this is and the only way to get it perfect like this is to have perfect rounds i want to show you what they brought me last night nate and john this right here these are oak dry rounds but you can't always guarantee yourself uh, finding stuff like this to be able to cut i guarantee you this is already dry to burn but if somebody called and wanted 12 inch oak they it, it, i would have to hope that they could find it or not or they would just have to take a green or get a different species. But look at these over here. I know Logan Logan, Larry Cluck, people that uh, are, are in this 
they know that this is dry, especially when it's smaller diameter like this. Now this piece is 16 inches. This one's cut 20. I'm probably going to have to uh, lop off a cookie off the end since I got to cut some of these. This one they didn't finish the cut on. But this to me is about as perfect as firewood gets as far as rounds coming in. You know, not too heavy. They're dry. They're ready to go. So, like I say, I'm not saying my way is the right way, but this is the way I do it. And I just try to be consistent and get everything out, make sure everybody's happy. Because, like, like I say, I'll make custom orders however they want to do it, but I'm not going to have uh, all these different shapes and sizes, lengths on my property at one time. So, all right, I got to get to splitting. I know it's a short video today, but I appreciate everybody that makes it to the end. And we'll catch you guys on the next one.